this video is introduce how to change the RAID controller on the T610 server um, you need to take out the PER6 from the RAID controls, controller slot if you don't have the correct part number for the RAID, con for the RAID controller to use in this slot you may install it on the slot 2 or slot 3 you need to see it was a x8 speed else it will be very slow on the 6 gbps and the, the top two is the x4 so we connect everything now some h700 controller it only works on the h700i then you can install here if you don't have the H700i, you may use the other's part number like the 0CHR2Y. Yeah, this is not the internal. It's for the one to use in the PCIe slot. So first you need to connect the power cables. Yeah, click here. And if you see this cable, they got a controller A, controller B. You need to connect to the right ones. So this is the A. And this is the B. The reason to upgrade to the H700 controller, it got a 6 Gbps rather than the per 6 3 Gbps. And this also support up to the hard drive of 4 terabytes. And the per six only support up to two terabyte per drive. Yep, it's quite straightforward. You need to fold out the cable, and on here you can see controller SAS A, and on the left hand side is the SAS B. So check the cable, see what does it say. Back. Okay, here we go. Back plan A. Then you hook air. You need to check the connections. This side, plug it in. And then controller B. And to here. For the best of the air ventilations, the cable need to plug it to the slot. Here. That's it. Just don't block the fan. Put back the cover here. So just to make sure the cable is tightly hooked in, in here. Check again. Check again here. Okay, we can put back this panel. Let's try here we go the four TB Genion Dell drive. So it's yeah, this way. I have you need to press it in here, then click on. Fully insert the hard drive and then close the ledge. This panel can be job done. We press turn on power cable. Yep, need to check the power cable is cool.
Okay, we turn on now. This is the old Per 6 card which we removed from the server. Yeah, the Crash 700 is here, so we press Ctrl L to enter the right configuration menu. If you don't have the correct Crash 700i, like for the internal parts which you, which you can use in the SARS controller slot, it will say PCIe error and then it will system hard, it will shut down itself. And you can see this has been registered to 4 terabytes, so it's like the a few of the you need to clear the old configurations and then you press F2 F2 create new VD and they got few of the read menu read 1 read 0 and that's it thank you for watching so you know how to upgrade the hash controller bye